In the second half of 2018, the GASB will continue to concentrate on a trio of related efforts that are each at different stages in their evolution. We refer to these projects as the Big Three. Further along in its development is the financial reporting model. During the second half of 2018, the board will be putting the final touches on a preliminary views document that will set forth proposals on the content and structure of the basic financial statements, including the measurement focus and base of accounting for governmental funds. The PV is scheduled to be approved for issuance in September. As the board finalizes its preliminary views on the financial reporting model, the board also will be discussing stakeholder feedback on a recent invitation to comment related to the revenue and expense recognition project. Stakeholders provided input through both due process comments and in testimony provided in a series of public hearings. The board will begin re-deliberations in July. The effort at the earliest stages of the three is note disclosures. As the board addresses the financial reporting model and the revenue and expense recognition projects, the next question is what disclosures are needed to enhance the understandings of the basic financial statements? After all, notes are an integral part of those statements. Based on the results of the recently completed research, GASB will consider adding a note disclosures project to the agenda at its August meeting. Other practice issues expected to yield documents in the second half of 2018 include an exposure draft on conduit debt is scheduled to be approved by the board in July, a final statement on equity interest ownership is scheduled to be approved in August, an exposure draft on the annual implementation guide update is scheduled to be cleared in November, and draft implementation guidance on fiduciary activities is expected to be cleared just before year end. In addition to these ongoing efforts, the board also will take up two new projects. A major project on public-private partnerships and a practice issue project on cloud computing arrangements. Finally, the staff will be working on two pre-agenda research efforts, deferred compensation plans and going to concern disclosures. Stakeholder input is critical to the successful completion of these efforts. We sincerely appreciate the views shared with us. We look forward to continuing the dialogue and we're always happy to help with questions that may arise.